Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and today we're gonna to look at 10 of our favorite smartphone apps for RV camping and travel. So stick around. Now, cell phones have certainly come a very long way in a very short period of time. My first cell phone was this giant Motorola bag phone that I'm sure looks very familiar to a whole bunch of you. But today, today's modern smartphone is actually a very powerful, tiny handheld computer that's a lot more powerful than the PCs I owned just a few very short years ago. Uh, so it makes total sense for the RV traveler to leverage the capability of a smartphone by using apps to help make the camping experience easier and more enjoyable. Now, the most expensive part of RV camping, unless you're camping right next to home, is your fuel expense. And for that reason, we make ample use of Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy is a free app for both iOS and Android that uses user submitted gas prices to help find the cheapest gas in any area. Here you can see that the price for regular gas nearby has a 65 cent spread between the lowest and highest prices. We prefer to sort by price. You can also sort by a different grade of gas or even diesel. Clicking on the map button will display station locations and clicking on an individual station even includes driving directions. If you're traveling, you can check prices in any area along your route with the search feature. Just type in your destination and the app will display fuel prices along your entire route. That way you can decide where it's best to fill up. Now speaking of maps, we use the free Google Maps for not only driving directions, but also to find interesting things to see and do along the way. We use the free Google Maps for driving directions, finding points of interest, locating businesses and determining their hours, and much more. We've even used it to find a mobile RV tech when we broke down on the side of the road. Google Maps is terrific for finding things nearby to see and do as you travel. Need a laundromat? Find one nearby, check out photos, determine when they're open, and get directions right to the front door. If you're traveling beyond cell service, you can even download maps with points of interest capable of producing turn-by-turn -turn driving directions without access to the internet. Google Maps is available for both iOS and Android phones and tablets. And speaking of offline maps, our favorite mapping software, our favorite mapping app for outdoor recreation maps is Backcountry Navigator. Now, unfortunately for you iOS users, this one is Android only. And it's a little bit pricey as far as apps go at $14.99. However, that's a lifetime fee and the developer needs to pay licensing fees for the different map layers that are available in the base program. So it's only fair that the developer gets to pass those licensing fees along to its users. You have access to multiple map sources, including street maps, satellite imagery, and our favorite, the shaded CalTopo 24K series.
If you'll be out in the boonies, you can even download specific areas to your phone for offline use. We like downloading both topo maps and satellite imagery for any area we'll be boondocking in to help locate campsites. But who knows if you're gonna have cell signal when you get there. That's where the app Open Signal comes in. Open Signal is a free app for both iOS and Android that lets you see user reported cell signal reports and speed tests right on a map. You may limit the app to display just your cell carrier and preferred network protocol. Here, we're going to select Verizon 4G only. The app includes a compass function to show the direction of the cell tower. Useful if you have a cell phone booster with a directional antenna. You can even see on a map where the tower that you're connected to is located. Helpful if moving your camp a little bit will improve service. A similar free app for you satellite TV viewers is Satellite Director. Now this one is also Android only, but we're sure that you iOS users can find similar apps for your iPhone. This is handy for figuring out where to point your satellite dish. First, wait for a GPS fix. Then select the satellite you're looking for. Because we're on Dish Network, we'll select one of the Echo Star Western Arc satellites. Then simply rotate your phone until you lock onto the cyan dot. That's the direction of the satellite. If you're looking for a place to stop for the night, Road Breakers is the app for you. This free app for both iOS and Android was developed for truckers, but it's perfect for RV travelers as well. It shows places where you can asphalt dock for the night, including Walmarts, truck stops, rest areas, on-street parking, and more. Different categories of overnight locations have different colors. All include a satellite view, and many include user reviews. Google Maps isn't the only app we use to find interesting things to see and do. We also get ample use out of Road Trippers. Although there's a premium version, we use the free Road Trippers app for iOS or Android to find cool things to stop and see along the way. You can check nearby or plan ahead. Clicking on a point of interest will reveal user reviews and much more. Another free app for both iOS and Android with similar functionality is TripBucket. We use TripBucket to help find interesting things to see and do and places to visit nearby. Again, clicking on a specific point of interest will reveal detailed information, including visitor reviews.
But what about the weather? We're weather geeks, so we're not fans of dumbed down weather apps like the Weather Channel and AccuWeather. We'd actually rather see what's gonna happen. And for that, there's no app better than FlowX. Right now, FlowX is only available for Android, but you can register for the beta version on iOS. The beauty of FlowX is that it lets you see right on a map what different weather models like the GFS and Canadian models are predicting. All you need to do is select which parameter you're going to map and then swipe left to right or right to left to move through the timeline. Thinking about moving, but wondering where it's expected to be windy? Wonder no more. Select wind as your parameter and then see wind speeds. Worried about rain? Select precipitation as your parameter, then go see. And last, but most certainly not least, is our favorite directory for finding great places to camp, and that's Campendium. Now at the moment, the app is only available for iOS users. So we actually pinned the mobile version of Campendium's website right to our phone's home screen. We use Campendium to locate anything from free boondocking sites to luxury RV resorts, and everything in between. As digital nomads, we particularly appreciate the fact that Campendium users rate their cell phone signal with each and every review. You can see photos, check the last price paid, and read detailed user-submitted reviews. Clicking on the GPS coordinates will open the location in Google Maps, so you can zoom in and switch to satellite view to get an up close and personal view of the lay of the land. So if you'd like to install any of these apps on your own phone, we'll put links to help you do so right in the YouTube video description down below. Now also down below is the comment section and we would certainly love your feedback on this episode of Grand Adventure. Now we put out new outdoor adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, make sure you go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner right now and ring that notification bell. And we would be honored if you share Grand Adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. But perhaps most importantly to us, if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. And until next week, please remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.